That looks great. So we'll just kind of put that in front of ourselves here. All right. So we've got these two trees. And really, this is the first step I want to talk about is just doing this manually, um, which is the most common, especially if you're doing a survival playthrough. So really all you need to do this is a chainsaw. Now I've got a few modded chainsaws installed. I've also got the base game. You can use an ax, you can use pretty much any of this stuff. Uh, because we're on Silver Run, I actually already have one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the heads up display and I'm gonna turn on the map here and if you look at the map you'll notice that I've got some coordinates so the basics you may remember this from uh, geometry or algebra uh, you've got 0 90 180 and 270 and then 0 again and these are your coordinates for straight markers so if you notice if I look at this thing straight on at about 270 as close as I can get, I am going to cut this thing very close to straight in a straight angle for myself. I generally bend down like this and I'll just go ahead and cut it. Now when this gets cut out, it's gonna be pretty straight and that's fantastic. So to trim off all of this junk that I don't need, I'm just gonna bend over the tree walk along it and have the saw blade open. Just run it, run it, run it, run it, run it, run it. All right. Now, uh, let's put that away. Tree's a little bit hard to see, so I'm just going to, for simplicity here, I'm just gonna paint it so you guys see what I'm talking about. So see the tree is at a perfectly straight angle. Now, if you are manually cutting, there is another trick that you need to know about. So if you come in here, again, at that same about 270 marker, and you look at it, and you look at my coordinates down at the bottom, I've got 1064, 1784. So if I move left a little bit, you'll see that 1784 is just gonna keep increasing. So what does that mean? Well, as I'm going left, I'm actually increasing one meter at a time. So that's really important. If I want to cut this tree at a six meter interval, I'm gonna start right here, 1784, and I'm gonna go down until 1790. And once I get to 1790, I have now cut a perfect six meter log. So I can keep doing that. So 1790, so 1796 would be the next one, right? And then 1802, gotta do some math in your head here. 1808. And you don't have any more. So what this means now is I've created six meter logs here. I know it's a little hard to tell, but you can kind of see the marker in there. So why is that important? Well, the cell point takes these based on their size and does some math based on it. So generally you want to be between six meters and eight meters at all times. Now without having super strength so if you're on console or if you're not really using mods you can only pick up certain things otherwise it's going to tell you that you can't so let's just put up our f1 menu here and it's going to tell you object is too heavy so let's talk about that a little bit well i have store mods uh store delivery mod enabled so this way I can kind of bring in whatever I want. Let's just bring in this brand new uh, TLX. Let's do the patina version. Cause I think that's cool looking. Now, if I take a pickup truck and I open up the back part of it. Uh, 
you know, it'll it'll take those parts. The problem is though, I can't lift them. So if you're playing and you're trying to do like a survival mode, you can keep cutting these into smaller pieces so that you can actually pick them up and then put them in the back of the truck. And that's fine. What I am gonna show you though is what if you're playing a little bit further along the lines and you want to use equipment for that. So we'll go ahead and we'll just take, I don't know, we'll get a, a large tractor. There was a mod that came out not too long ago that I thought was pretty cool, which is this one. It's a beast. And we'll just, yeah, that's fine. Put a front attacher on this thing. And generally, uh, it doesn't really matter what loader you use. Um, if you're using base game, this log fork is not terrible. So we'll use that. There are better mods that are out there. So let's, let's get this all configured here. Again, doesn't matter what tractor you have. It doesn't, doesn't matter what forks, it doesn't really matter any of this stuff. If you are using a lighter tractor, you may want to put a weight on the back of it, just so this isn't a problem. But basically what you're going to do, especially when you're manually logging here, is you're going to point the log forks down. You're gonna open them all the way. And you're just gonna go over that object make sure you're, you're nice and good on there and then close it and pick it up now if you notice by doing this i've actually picked it up really well and i can tilt this like i have no problem it's still going to move a little bit but it's it's really not going to be an issue if you try to scoop it which we'll do with the next one let's just put this in the truck here We'll just open up our forks. Yeah, it looks great. If you try to scoop it, which I'll do here, this is a pretty common mistake that a lot of new players will make. So in real life, you'll kind of try to like do this. And what ends up happening is it, it, it just pushes it. You can't really pick it up. You end up trying to pick up sticks. But again, if you, if you notice I go straight down, it's not an issue. Pop that on there. So whether whether you drive into the truck, whether whether you do this into a trailer, whether you do really whatever, it it doesn't matter. The basic concept is you point the forks down based on those cut logs and, and you're good to go. And you could drive this out to the cell point. And they are the same length. I know they're kind of crooked in here. I don't Let's just pretend that that's, they're straightly loaded. Um, on most trucks, it's really not gonna matter. To be honest, it's just kinda gonna, it's gonna be all right. So if I was playing uh, with just like start from scratch, that's probably how I would I would pull this off. And you, the, the trick is you just keep repeating that, right? So you just keep cutting down trees on those angles you cut at the six meter mark, the eight meter mark, five meter, whichever one you want. Just keep loading them into a truck or trailer and you just keep delivering them to the cell point until you make money. And that's how you do it. Absolute low cost coordinate. So let's leave this here and let's go talk about some base game stuff. So I'm gonna go over back to pretty much where the start farm is um, which on silver run is right over here by the by the store All right so you can see that there's quite a bit of trees here um, we'll just do our 
our, our uh, mobile cell or our store delivery point here. Is this the way things get delivered to us? And we're going to talk about some base game items here. So if you are doing uh, base game, if you don't have the platinum expansion or any mods, let's talk about what you can do in that. Now, generally, there's there's a lot of different machines. So the first one that pops up, this guy here, uh, this is a tree harvester. And what you end up having with it is you have a piece of machinery that can drive through the woods and it can cut down trees and drop them. There are several different models of this. And if you notice towards the right side here down at the bottom, we've got 71 centimeters. That's the diameter of the tree that we can cut down. So the bigger the diameter, the more common trees that you can cut down with this thing. So let's just, let's grab the base one. Let's just see how that goes. The tires, they matter a little bit. If you're doing small throating, not going to focus too much about that in this. So if you notice, we've got a processor here, and this is what we call a dangle head. So what do I mean by that? Well, if I take this head and I move it, I'm using super strength here just to demonstrate. I can move the head all around. It is not fixed. It will dance. It's not a it's not gonna stay in the position it is and that's okay but it's gonna cause a problem which we'll talk about here and it's a frustrating problem for a lot of people so let's let's see what this thing's like to actually use it we're gonna try to cut the tree in front of us it may be too big we'll see how it plays out so first thing we need to do is we'll turn on the vehicle and then if you notice we've got uh, I'm using a controller, but it doesn't doesn't matter. You'll see these in the F1 menu regardless. Um, I can set up what cut length I want, and I can turn on that tree harvester. So let's let's turn that on. We'll set it to eight, and we're gonna drive up to this tree up here. I'm gonna drive up to this tree up here. Now, if the tree is not too big, be able to cut it. If the tree is too big or if we don't line up, I'll just change the camera so this way you guys can see. All right, so apparently I'm not allowed to cut this tree even though I own the property. Let's go grab another tree and that that's okay that error usually comes up if you either don't own the property or if the tree is too big for the processor so let's try this one you notice we've got the ring highlighted here get that lined up just right and when we do we can cut it now the negative to this dangle processor, as you'll see, is the tree just kind of falls. There's really no control I have over the tree. I can't spin it. I can't really do anything with it. So a trick that I use, and I've used for a long time on this, is I'll turn the harvester away and back up, and that'll allow me to kind of put the tree where I want. So let's pick up this a little bit, and we're gonna run it. We're gonna uh, run the cut option here. Now, if you don't move the vehicle, and if it's high enough up, you'll get a pretty straight line. It's not gonna be the straightest, but it'll be okay. We we'll get a nice little pile here of eight meter logs. Now. A lot of the trouble that we have with the base game equipment, and I'm showing this because uh, a lot of people will think that this means that they're not doing a great job when they run into this. So we'll line this up again. The tricky part's going to be 
How do I possibly, with this dangle head, get this even close? Well, I can kind of do that turn maneuver that I had. I can try really hard to line these up, but you'll notice they're not the best. Like, it's okay. I can work with that, but it's it's just not, it's not the best. And that's the problem you're gonna have with this type of equipment. Because it's a dangle processor, it's going to move quite a bit as you're trying to, to do this. Now, uh, again, because you're either picking them up one by one or in small piles, it's probably not gonna be an issue. However, if they do get out of control, I'm gonna show you a trick real quick for how to handle that. So let's just grab another tractor. It doesn't really matter which one. And let's grab um, a leveler. I know this sounds wild, but that's what we're gonna do. So we'll take this tractor We'll take this leveler. It doesn't matter whether you put it on the front or the back. It does not matter. Again, keep in mind, this is for beginning logging. It's not, it, do, it doesn't matter how perfect you are with it. We'll lower the leveler and we can use this to put everything in position. So it, it allows us to create some neat piles kind of correct uh, what we're running into with that. So again, I can kind of do this. And go all the way. I can drive into a tree. I'm going to get stuck on this tree, aren't I? There we go. Put this down. And we can kind of line it up pretty well here. So if you look, that made a fantastic pile. And that's that's okay. That is a, a trick to kind of do this with base game as you're getting good at it. Now as you practice a bit, you'll be okay with that piece of uh, harvester. You'll be able to line them up a little bit better. But it's, okay, it's totally okay to use uh, the, the leveler to kind of put them in a straight line. Now again, back to what we talked about before, you can pick them up with the log forks one at a time, put them on the trailer. If you get really talented with it, you can pick up two or three at a time with the log forks, put them on a trailer, and it's gonna work out really well for you. All right, so let's talk then about the platinum stuff. So if you did purchase the Platinum Expansion, what does that change for you? Well, Platinum Expansion gives you a few more pieces of equipment. So you get uh, these pieces here that allow you to cut a little bit wider of a tree. Again, they're still all dangle processors. Now, there is a difference with the Hannibal. The Hannibal does allow you to cut um, and keep it in a straight line. The Volvo is still dangled as well, but you do get a grapple with it. I'm gonna teach you guys though, how I do this. And what I use is this, this 843LII or two, however you wanna call it. I use this, I'm gonna show you why. I actually got really comfortable with this thing uh, as a modded tool back on 19. And I wanna talk about how we can use this as an option. So this is called a feller buncher head. And what ends up happening is as I turn this on, this is gonna grab one or two trees and pick them up and allow me to put them down wherever I want to. Then I can process them later. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll go in here and I'm just gonna pick this tree. Now, the way this one works in Giants, you just kind of drive into the tray and it picks itself up, which is pretty cool. And then we go to wherever we want it. 
So maybe I want the tree, I don't know, here. Here looks great. We'll turn the head forward and we'll release tree. Now, as you can see, if you get good at this thing, you can, there's a limit for how many, how thick the tree can be, but sometimes you can just kind of pick it up. Yep. Get above that thick point. Not a big deal. Same deal. We'll take this tree and we're going to, we're going to line this up here and I'm going to show you why this is valuable here. All right. So we got two trees relatively in the same line. And what's cool about that, let's turn that off is if you take something, anything like this processor, for example, you tilt the head down and you go over here. We'll just kind of, we can tilt the head in the right direction to make this easier on ourselves. But if you do this, try to get a good camera angle for you. The cut, well now you can take that tree that's been f put in a position and you can cut them. So you're probably thinking, well, why the extra step? Why do you want to do this? Well, if you're, if you're doing this semi-realistically, let's just put this, let's grab this guy here. If you're doing this semi-realistically, you can cut a bunch of trees with that John Deere piece of equipment, put them in a nice neat pile, and then you can utilize this piece of equipment to, as they call, process them. Process them into a nice straight line here. And as you see, it was very easy. All I did was just pick it up and, and cut them. And now I've got a nice neat pile. So you imagine if I did this in bulk, I would have cut down a lot of trees with this put them in a nice neat pile and then I would have utilized this piece of equipment to set them into small pieces and again I would load them so let's talk a little bit about the other things that are in this pack well uh, we do have um, the Volvo pieces where we've got this grapple hook on it now this is base platinum edition so with this you can spin the grapple you can pick it up and you can pick up a uh, few pieces of equipment at once or piece of equipment you can pick up a few pieces of log at once now I, I do experience quite a bit though that we end up running into some problems where the logs just kind of get like stuck like as you can see like here i've got a few pieces in there like this is good if i had a trailer put it i could pop this over the trailer and then i can open up my log forks and we would create a nice neat trailer pile you can really use anything to load it into the trailer. I mean, there's plenty of mods that are out there. You can use this platinum. You can use the base game log forks like I showed you as well. The trailer part, it's really not that bad. But that's the basics of how you do this with base game with platinum equipment. Now, if you do happen to be on PC, um, you do have a luxury where it comes to Jordan's mods. Now, Jordan is a modder that is out there. He does what we call the FDR 
modding equipment. Now, FDR has a bunch of mods. Their website is fdrlogging.com. And these mods are very detailed and you'll notice there's some heads like this. So this is this is one of his mods, it's an elbow tag. A little hard to see here in the shop. There's no options or anything on it, but we'll buy this and we'll take a look at it. And he has also included different heads. So for example, we'll take the Take the fix Wartal. Okay, so this is what Jordan's mods look like, as you can see here. A nice detailed mod. It's constantly updating these as well. So it'd probably look different if you're watching this video a little bit after I've uploaded it. So drive into the Volvo. Gotta get this lined up just right. Now, you will notice as well, and I may have just made this mistake too. Um, there are a couple different heads on the equipment that he's got here. You'll notice some that have this bigger head. So let's go ahead and grab that and just see if that makes a difference here. Or if I've just legitimately broke it. Let's get this out of the way for now. So, case in point as I'm doing this, the FDR stuff is a lot more complicated, but once you get comfortable with it, and if you can deal with it being a little bit harder to figure out at first, Is weird. Just spin that. Uh, that's why. Okay, so it was spun upside down, which is fine. Um, so, note to self on this current release. We have to spin that uh, completely upside down, which is fine. Let's get it to line up. Okay, so let's talk about what this thing is. On this particular piece of equipment, we have uh, what is called a fixed head processor. Now, personally, this is my favorite because the head's not gonna move. So you'll see when I cut down a tree here in a minute. And I'll just I'll just grab whatever's the first one here. We'll set our distance to eighteen or eight meters. You'll notice there is no star. It's way less forgiving. Than the base game stuff. But either way, once you get it. So what's important about a, a fixed head is you notice I can move the tree however I want. 
which means I can place it down in the exact position I want. So if I want to put this pretty much right next to that tree there, I can. If I want to pick it up, if I want to spin this, and that's always the fun part too, end up hitting your uh, own piece of equipment. So how do I generally do this? Well, what I do is I, I cut the tree, right? So I've got the tree like that, the tree that I've just cut. I generally turn it to the left when I'm not around equipment and I'll just cut it, just turn to the left like that. And now if I don't move the equipment at all, you'll notice it'll cut perfectly straight bundles. So that's why I personally like this one. Um, as you get really comfortable with it, you can cut things down really quickly. So we'll cut Cut this one here. And now same deal because I have fixed head control. Even if I do it from the other side, I can get pretty close. Or I can hit the tree. It's a bad tutorial. Let's cut that. Uh, so if you if you line them up well enough, <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna keep this in here because this is really funny. Normally, I'd cut this out and go like, "Oh, I know what I'm doing," but bad things always happen, which is fine. So. Uh, yeah, so my point being though, because you have a fixed head processor, you can kind of do what you want with it. And you can line things up as you get really good with it, uh, which is really cool. So personally, if I'm cutting down, and I've cut down thousands of trees and all the different farming simulators, if I'm cutting down a bunch, this is my go-to. And, you know, I'll kind of just like get in the zone here and I'll put the trees where I want to and I'll call it a day. And like that works really well. Now, he's also got uh, what we call a feller buncher, as we talked about before. So you can get this piece of equipment too, wherever it is in the menu. This thing. So let's talk about this one and uh, yeah it's fun the difference just because this is a uh, so tight I'm going to pick this up and put it where I need to the difference between this one is we're literally going to cut the tree we're not going to process the tree Hopefully, cut the tree. Yep, that's lined up. I think we're gonna have the same issue here, which is fine. Yep, that's why. All right, not the mod's fault, it's my fault. I was switching between equipment. Uh, 
So I had the head on upside down. So what does this thing do? Well, this is very similar to the truck that we were just using a minute ago, where we can just kind of drive into things and cut them. Now this is manual though, so let me get a good view here. We are going to have to grab the tree. Um, you'll notice that, uh, and I'm using a controller here, it's going to be a little bit tricky to do. So I'm gonna show you what I do when I'm using this thing, which is I keep the head off, I level it up with the tree, I then grab the tree. You notice how I did that? Grab the tree, then I turn it on, and then I pick it up. So, just like we have with that first one, I now have a tree in here. And if you're talented, you can cut two or three at the same time before you put it down. All right, so let's do that. Let's put that down. So the way this would work is you would pick them up, you'd, you'd cut them, and then you'd put them all in a pile with this thing. It works really, really well. It's like using the uh, the John Deere that we showed before. However, you can do them in bulk and you can go a lot wider with that piece of equipment, which is fantastic. So I really, really enjoy this thing. Um, this one probably takes a bit more of a learning curve than the fixed head. There is also a dangle head processor that you can use on his equipment, and that's fine as well. So yeah, so that's the basics of how to use these pieces of equipment. Let's talk a little bit. We're just going to go back over to where we were here. Let's talk a little bit about uh, cheating, right? Which is fine. So I have easy dev, easy dev controls turned on. We'll turn on, yeah, it's fine. We're just gonna load a bunch of logs here. Okay. Now, there are a few ways to do this. So you notice we've got a pile. Again, I could pick these up one by one or there is a mod if you're on PC called the auto load trailer. So if you don't enjoy loading them, you can get the auto load trailer. Uh, you can get it with a trailer hitch. Just grab this one, that's fine. And we're gonna just grab a, uh, a truck. Personally love the TLX stuff. So we'll just grab that. All right. Now, if you're doing auto load, which is fine, just need to know the the size of what you've got. But once you do, uh, unfold the trailer. And there are key bindings to this. I'm gonna guess I have it the other way, which is fine. So we'll just go over on this side. Now, when you have this, um, you'll, let me do the, show it. So there's my, my unloading, and we're just gonna, we'll go ahead and start uh, auto loading, which is B, and there we go. So you can see what this kind of thing does, which is really cool, is it just, puts it on for you. Now, if you are moving, you'll notice they don't line up as well, but that's okay. 
Now pretty much as long as something is showing in that zone, it will work. So we'll just kind of, there we go. We would turn off the trailer. We would lock it in and we would go to the cell point. So if you didn't want to do this manually, you could do it this way. That's one way to cheat at this. Let's talk about how consoles can cheat. So if you have a big pile of wood here, well, what can I do on console? There is uh, a mod. There are two mods. First one that I want to talk about is called mobile sale points. And what this looks like is is this. It's a it's about 500 bucks. It is a little saw table. It's loud, so we'll step away from it. Now, what's cool about this thing is it's it can be picked up. So we can just pick it up and we can put it over here. And so if you did cut all of the wood, and again, you process it into lengths, what you do is go to this thing and then just sell the wood. Um, and you can pick this up, you can put it in the back of a pickup truck, and you can go sell whatever you want, whether it's horizontal or vertical, it doesn't really matter. So this thing's really, really convenient um, if you do want to speed things up. The other way, so let's put down uh, just a bunch of trees here. Trees. Alright, cool. So we've got a bunch of trees over there. The other way, if you just want to clear trees and you want to make some money, I do recommend... Let's just grab a... Some sort of tractor. There are two other mods that um, I like quite a bit if you're playing crossplay. The first one is called the Tree Be Gone. So we'll buy one of those. The second one is called the Devour Trees. So let's talk about these. So the first one that we have, the Tree Be Gone. Tree Be Gone's not going to give you any money whatsoever. However, if you just need to clear some trees to make a field or something along those lines, this is a fantastic option. So I'm going to show you how this thing works. And this is cross-platform. We'll turn it on. You can lower it. You can lift it. It doesn't really matter. Just drive up to the tree. And you'll kind of see what it does. Now, if you hit the angle kind of wrong like I did, it'll do this weird thing. But either way, eventually it'll kind of delete it. There you go. If you hit it just right, it'll kind of just remove it right away. If you hit it wrong, you just kind of got to sit there. But so that's what that says. You don't get any money from it, but you can clear any type of tree or root or anything along those lines. It's also really helpful for console if you've got collision issues. Um, I've personally run into those on console, so I do recommend it. Uh, however, if you do want to make some money, grab this guy. This is the tree devourer. And the way it works, you put the pipe out you turn it on once the pipe's out and same deal you just kind of drive into a tree now the difference is this is going to actually suck in the tree now you will sometimes have the problem where it won't eat the tree stump, so the tree beyond might be of help. But let's try this again over here on this one. So 
So the best bet to do is kind of what I hopefully. Keep it lowered. Drive up to your tree. Drive it kind of straight on. Then lift up. Drive over your stump. And that should hopefully remove the stump. Now the difference is, if you notice, I cut down three trees, I got 43,000 liters of, uh, of wood chips. Now I'm at 50,000. Fantastic. So now if I wanted to, all I'd really need is a trailer of some sort. Once trailer takes wood chips, doesn't really matter what it is. And it'll unload into the trailer. So now I've got wood chips out of this thing, which is pretty cool. So you can make money off this thing. And guys, that's really it. Um, it's just a matter of doing a combination of those things. So either doing it by hand, picking them up and putting them down, doing them with the uh, base game equipment, the more expensive stuff, or the platinum stuff. You could do it with the FDR stuff. You could use auto load, you could do manual, or you can just use the tree devourer or the mobile cell point. But at the end of the day, that's how you log. And it really just, you just keep repeating the same thing and that's how you end up getting good at it. Thank you so much for your time. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, please uh, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll keep making more of these instructional videos. Thank you so much. Have a great day.